Presentations are used to develop exploded views, animations, and other stylized views of an assembly to aid you in documenting your design. Animations can then be used to show the step-by-step -step assembly of your design. Presentation files are easy to create, and they use the file extension .ipn. On the ribbon, Get Started tab, Launch Panel, click New. The Create New File dialog box opens. Now, in the Templates folder, at the bottom under Presentation, select the standard.ipn icon. Then click Create. Notice that Presentation 1 is now displayed in the browser. Also, on the ribbon, the Presentation tab is active, and the Create View is the only active button in the Create panel. Click Create View. The Select Assembly dialog box appears. If you had an Inventor assembly file already open, the file drop-down would automatically be populated with the file name. But since no assembly is currently open, click the file icon to open an existing file, and open the slide tool assembly file. Click the Options button to display the File Open Options dialog. Representations stored in the assembly file are available for selection from the drop-down menus. Design views can be made associative, so any visibility changes made in the presentation file will be reflected in the assembly file. Select the associative checkbox. Invisible or suppressed components in the design views or level of detail representations are not displayed in the presentation. Click OK to accept the default settings. Now, back in the Select Assembly dialog box, look at the options in the Explosion Method Group box. These options determine what the exploded view will look like. Manual creates the presentation view without creating an exploded view, but if you choose this option, an exploded view can be created later by adding tweaks. Automatic creates the presentation view as an exploded view, separating the components based on their constraint type. It is recommended that you use automatic explosion for very simple assemblies. Distance specifies the tweak distance for each component automatically exploded. Create Trails displays the trail for each tweak component that is automatically exploded. For this exercise, be sure Manual is selected. Then, click OK. The Slide Tool Assembly is displayed in the window. Press F6 to go to the Home view. Notice that Presentation 1 is replaced by the file name of the assembly in the browser. Explosion 1 is added under Slide Tool. Expand Explosion 1 and then expand the Slide Tool Assembly. Now, all of the components that make up the Slide Tool Assembly are displayed. Next, you will add a second presentation view. On the ribbon, Presentation tab, Create Panel, click Create View. Notice that the file field is now populated with the previous assembly file and is grayed out. This is because only one assembly per presentation file is permitted. Click the Options button and select the Associative checkbox. Then, from the Design View drop-down, select Handle and click OK. Select the Automatic Explosion method and set the distance to 3 inches. Select the Create Trails checkbox and click OK. Now, only the Slide Tools handle is displayed in the window with its parts pulled away from the shaft. Select the Home View glyph by the View Cube. Also notice that Explosion 2 has been added to the browser. Next, you will define the view orientation for each explosion. Double-click Explosion 1 in the browser to activate it. Explosion 1 will illustrate how the full assembly comes together. Use the View Cube to change the orientation to a bottom, right, front, 
isometric view. Then change the browser name of Explosion 1 to Full Assembly so that it's easier to remember what this particular presentation file represents. Now, double click Explosion 2 to activate it. Explosion 2 illustrates the handle being assembled. Use the view cube to orient the view to a bottom, right, front, isometric view as you did with Explosion 1. In the browser, change the name of Explosion 2 to Handle Assembly. Now, select Full Assembly and notice how the presentation view preserved the view's orientation. As you develop a presentation file, you can add as many presentation views as you need for your documentation and for creating animations. However, realize that only one view is enabled at a time by double-clicking it in the browser.